right area area of a function area of a function let's uh, all right let's start area of function the problem says that uh, we we should use integration to find the area of the region bounded by the curve y equal absolute value y equal absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 and uh, the x axis and the x axis from x equal 0 to x equal 4 that's great i would like to uh, start in details in this problem if we take y equal x minus 2 minus 1 and we draw it this is the drawing graphically i use the graphic calculator to draw this the microsoft calculator actually to draw this uh, function uh, for sure if we want to draw uh, absolute value y equal absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 first let's uh, 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 try to have the conditions of that if if x minus 2 is greater or equal to 0 this implies that when x greater or equal to 2 here is the 2 right here is the 2 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is for those points actually we need them in this graph right one two three and four let's see uh, if x greater or equal to two so it is a positive number then y will be equal to x minus two minus one then y will be equal uh, to x right y will be equal to x minus three this is one of the functions right x minus three if for if x minus 2 is less than or equal to 0 this implies that x will be less than or equal to 2 so y will be equal to uh, instead of absolute value of x minus 2 since it's a negative number so we have to multiply with minus we got minus x plus 2 right minus 1 so the answer is going to be uh, my uh, this implies uh, y is going to be 2 minus 1 it's 1 minus x this is the other function where do these functions intersect right with x axis we are working about, uh, with these two functions now this function intersects with x axis if we take y equal x minus 3 equal to 0 it gives me x equal to 3 so it intersects at 3 and if we did draw this function where x is greater or equal to 2 so it's exactly from 2 and above right we draw if x0 y equal minus 3 if y0 x equal to 3 two points and we join them we get the line exactly from 2 and above we cannot go from below 2 right it will be negative the absolute value of x minus 2 and for y equal 1 minus x if we take it equal to 0 this implies that x will be equal to 1 so they it intersect the other part where x is where x the condition here where x is less than or equal to 2 this means from 2 and below for x it intersects the x axis at point 1 also we cannot continue this part because it will be negative for the absolute value either we do that or we directly take y equal x minus 2 absolute value of y equal x minus 2 minus 1 equal to 0 and then in this case absolute value of x minus 2 equal to 1 we'll take the two cases if x less than or equal to 2 or x greater or equal to 2 what to, what we got with which is the same here i took it in in detailed more detailed uh, uh working now he wants me actually to uh, find the area the area from between x equal 0 right to x equal 4 so we have this part over here we have this part over here till 2 and it's better to take it from 1 to 2 I will tell you why this part over here and this part over here so we have actually four parts right four parts I will uh, uh, do the area enclosed between this curve and the x axis from x equals 0 to x equal 4 first <coughs> First, we found x equal 1 and x equal 3, which are the points of intersection of the x-axis. Then we do what? Then we uh, try to... Uh, let me work over here. Um, if x belongs if x belongs from 0 to 1, 
right from 0 to 1 union from 3 to 4 union from 3 to 4 i did choose the part of the x axis the part of the uh, curve or of the area which is above the x axis in this case in this case so uh, y in this case y which is equal absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 is a positive value right is a positive is a positive value and uh, uh, where x belongs from uh, 1 to 3 since the part belongs to uh, enclosed in under the uh, x axis between the curve and the x axis but from below this means y which is absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 is a negative uh, has a negative value we can we can uh, it's much better to see it at the figure it's very clear we can choose numbers from 1 to 3 and which we, we substitute them over here let's take the end values if x equal 1 so 1 minus 2 it's minus it's minus uh, 1 absolute value of minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is, is, is equal to 0 for sure because I did choose the end point 1 which is x equal to 1 if we if we take a value more than 1 uh, uh, either, uh, either we choose 1 or 3 it's going to give me 0 for sure uh, because we proved that over here but any value between 1 and 3 let's say 2 or 1.1 1 .1 to uh, 2.9999 whatever uh, 2 2 minus 2 is 0 absolute 0 is 0 minus 1 is negative also here if we choose any value between 0 and 1 or any value between 3 and 4 is going to be a positive value let's uh, let's continue this means uh, we, we knew now uh, what the part which is positive and the part which is negative he wants me to find he wants me to find okay uh, let me let me uh, uh, do it over here he wants me to find the area which is integral from 0 to 4 right of what of uh, of the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 right and the absolute value of that because we don't know where it is positive where it is negative right the x we can take it into four pieces right we can uh, 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 split it into four parts it's integral from 0 to 1 of the absolute value of absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 dx plus integral from 1 to 2 right also of the absolute value of the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 dx plus integral from 2 to 3 of the absolute value of the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 dx plus the fourth part integral from 3 to 4 of the absolute value of absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 right the x right all right let's see now each part where it is positive where it is negative um so the area let's let's do it over here the area is equal first part <clears throat> first part simply uh, it's integral from 0 to 1 if we have it as in the figure and the, and the time will not uh, be enough for this uh, video so i will continue in another part but i still have one minute let me continue over here it's integral from 0 to 1 what is the absolute value of the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 first the absolute that that all part first x which is y which is absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 simply is a positive part because from 0 to 1 it is above the x-axis if we didn't uh, uh, draw drawing is show me that clearly but if we didn't draw we can use values right to see that this part is will be a positive part so we leave it as it is we leave it as absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 now the x minus 2 by itself the x minus 2 if it is less than 1 this means it is less than 2 if it is less than 2 huh, the x minus 2 is a negative number since it is negative number so I have to multiply it with minus so it will be 2 minus x right 2 minus x minus 1 dx this is the first part which is 1 minus x for sure plus the other part integral from 1 to 2 <clears throat> integral from 1 to 2 from 1 to 2 this part is below x axis or if we substitute a number we will find that absolute value of x minus 2 minus 1 
So I'm, I'm taking out the, sorry, from one to two over here. I'm taking out the first absolute value now, the, the above, the outer absolute value. So if we put any number,